Hi guys, I'm here to talk about the characteristics of social media. So first, what is social media? Uh, well, it can be defined as the interaction of technologies that allow easy exchanges and sharing of information. This can be informal or formal. So characteristics of social media. Well, there are many types of social media that has in, been introduced to help communicate and express yourself, but most of them have similar tools and features that make the way of communication quite easy. Um, before we get into those, I want to explain why we use it. So first, we can create profiles that provide others information about ourselves, so where we work or what our hobbies are. Um, another is to find friends and make conversations. Uh, it could be friends that you haven't even talked to in a really long time and it just allows connectivity between a diverse um, set of people. So another one can be to sharing artifacts, so posting videos or maybe sharing a talent or just even like sharing a funny video that you found. Um, and it gets shared around and it creates this um, online community. And these are just some things that people use social media for. Okay, back to types and tools. So these are what make social media accessible and usable. So first, some types of social media tools include online conferencing, for example, Zoom. Another one is video sharing, which can be TikTok and YouTube. Um, instant messaging, which can be Facebook, Messenger, or Snapchat. Image sharing, Pinterest, Picasa, Flickr, Photo Bucket, Instagram. And lastly, wikis, blogs, um, which is like Wikipedia or cooking blog. So these are only to name a few, but there are types, many types of social media out there, uh, which help the world communicate with um, different people around the world. Um, tools are basically applications that are developed by businesses to allow you to interact with others online and it doesn't even have to be in your country. Uh, another characteristic of social media includes features. So these are basically things you can do within the tools. For example, posting, which can be used if you want to share a piece of news or information of others. Other, another one can be commenting, which is kind of giving feedback to some kind of news that has um, someone has shared. And then there are features that can help create the tool and allows um, easy accessibility and use. So now I'm going to talk about the communication styles and how someone's communication style may impact what type of tools they use. We have four types of communication styles, and that is assertive, which is a really confident communicator and is able to speak clearly and directly, listens and responds well to make sure everyone is on the same page. Um, this means they're really good at um, delivering and receiving um, messages. They might use forms such as for verbal and voice messaging to get their point across. Um, next is aggressive. So aggressive communicator cater is reasonably confident. However, they do tend to inflict their own ideas on others. So isn't very good at receiving information. They may use forms such as verbal and online messaging. Uh, passive aggressive. So this is so it's the third style, which is um, generally indirect, so they can receive messages well, but uh, will send message in an indirect way through alternative channels, but still have uh, make sure their message is eventually received. Uh, these communicators might use email or online text more than verbal communication. And lastly, we have passive, which is um, and more lay low and not speak about things type of communicator. Uh, their body language is quite reserved and the voice is quite low. Uh, they can receive messages but cannot send a clear message back. Uh, these communicators might use email or image sharing and they won't 
necessarily like to use verbal communication a lot. Uh, that's basically it. Um, that's the characteristics of social media. Thank you for watching.